Hello everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So I don't know if you guys remember, but quite a while ago we got given a whole bunch of these, actually probably a couple hundred of them, and these are lithium phone batteries. And the other day I was actually out enjoying a bit of the sun, which is very rare for the UK, listening to a bit of the music, and all of a sudden my speaker died. And it's been on my mind that that battery don't want to hold charge at all, really. And then a thought occurred to me, maybe I should build my own, which is exactly what I'm going to do maybe in a later video. But the most important thing about a wireless speaker is the battery pack. So what I actually want to do is build a battery pack that will be able to power this speaker for at least three to four hours using these phone batteries and this brand new BMS that I've just picked up. And if you guys are interested, I'll make sure to put the information down in the description for this BMS, so check it out if you are. But believe it or not, this battery pack is only going to be four batteries big, and that's because these are rated at 3,500 mAh each at 3.85 volts, which I feel like is going to be big enough because I've already done the working out to make sure that this, power, this speaker can be powered for longer than two hours using this battery pack right here. So now what we actually have to do is connect all of these up in series, giving us around 15 volts at about 3.5 amp hours, and... It's actually going to be pretty easy because we've got our BMS and if you're interested in the wire diagram, I'll stick it up on the screen now. So it is pretty straightforward, so what I think I'm going to do is just crack on and get these put together. And just like any other electronic slash battery video, I feel like I need to mention that this is for educational and research purposes only. But now we've got that little bit out of the way, let's crack on. And there we go, that is my battery pack pretty much built. And I've already tested this on the multimeter and we got a result of around 15 volts, which is exactly where we wanted to be. So, before I actually crack on, there's something that I didn't actually mention at the beginning of the video. If you decide to use these cells, make sure you test them first and they're actually in the right voltage range. Otherwise, it could cause some problems. But that's besides the point. What we want to do now is to connect our BMS. <laughs> and there we go. That is my battery pack completely made up, including all of the connections on the BMS. But talking about the BMS, I feel like there's something worth mentioning right here. And that is, if you did decide to connect up using this BMS, you want to make sure that your connections are going to the correct place. Otherwise, if you decide to solder it to the wrong connection, what's going to happen is you're going to short the battery. It's going to get very hot. And then, of course, there's risks of fire, explosions, etc, etc. So make sure that there is due of care going into this and make sure that they are going into the right connections. Something I think that is actually really cool about this, that this BMS of course controls the voltage of the batteries, but not only that, it is also a voltage regulator in itself. So this pack was around 15 volts, and if we go test it on the multimeter, we should get a result at around 12.6 volts, which is exactly where we want to be. So let's go see what kind of output we're getting on the multimeter. Rightio, so here is my multimeter. I'm just going to tap the P plus and the P minus and see what kind of voltage that it's producing. There we go, so it's producing around 13 volts, which is exactly where we want it to be. And there we go, that is our battery pack completely made up at the voltage that we want it to be at 3.5 amp hours. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it should run this for around two to three hours according to my calculations. So I'm actually really excited to get on the way with this project. But like I said, I'm super excited to actually have this built and all I've pretty much got to do is just pretty it up. But with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.